Mm. Actually, speaking of phones, uh, what do you think about Nintendo moving into the uh, into the uh, mobile phone realm and you know potentials for Zelda games or Zelda spin-offs in in that? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if a, if, a, if a mobile phone would be a good move for Nintendo actually because they've always been very game centric well not always to be fair they have ventured out of side games on a, few, on a few occasions in their history but for the most part they've been you know, pretty game centric and a mobile phone is pretty, pretty much of a stretch outside I mean sure you can play games with a mobile phone but that's not strictly speaking it's main function is you know is to be a is to be a phone and the games are not oh i guess depending on your usage but they're, they're at least secondary so um i'm not sure if a mobile phone we could move for them i mean i think it's an interesting move moving into the smartphone realm for them but i'm not overly convinced that they're going to like i think some people are expecting you know a mario game zelda game or whatever or metroid and things like that I'm not. I'm not convinced that's what they're going to do. I'm. I'm, I'm guessing what is, is more likely to be something like um, companions. You know what I mean? Like not quite games, but just stuff where, like, imagine like you know, a Pokedex. You know, like a, I think they they like to do things like that. You know, like apps that assist a game, but they're not necessarily going to be games themselves. Um, that's that's my guess. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Of course, I have no idea what they're planning, but I, I just don't get. I just get the feeling that whatever they do, it's not going to be like these fully fledged mobile games that they're, they're not going to be competing with, you know, Angry Birds or, or, you know, their the popular mobile games, um, what, what you got, uh, like Candy Crush and so on, uh, uh, Age of, well, not Age of Empires, um, well, what am I thinking of? Yeah, that Empire, Clash, yeah, yeah, Clash of, Clash of, Clash of Titans, I think, or, Clash of Clans, Clash of some, yeah, all, all those games, all of, it's not, it's not going to be in with any of those. I, that's what I think anyway. I'm, again, I, I've, I've no insider knowledge. It's just what I'm, I'm guessing that they're going to have some kind of. It's going to be a bunch of apps that just assist their, you know, their their main games. Because at the end of the day, you've got to think about it. Like, if they start putting these fully fledged games on the mobile phone, on the smartphones, that are competing with the likes of, you know, Angry Birds and so on. I mean, sure, they can make money from it, especially if they have the microtransactions in there and all the ads and things. They can make money from it. They can make a lot of money from it. But it could it could have the potential to knock off the um, 3DS market. Uh, well, not entirely, of course, because I think the 3DS market is pretty, for the most part, different from the mobile gaming market anyway. Um, but certainly it could have the potential to cut into it in a... In a, in a significant manner maybe not cut it cut out completely but certainly cut into it um you know i mean it, uh, it depends i guess on why on on the, re- on the type of person plays it but i think that's what they're thinking that if they do a fully fledged game how can this affect you know the 3ds sales how can it affect what we do with 3ds and that's why i'm a bit skeptical about them doing a fully fledged game but we'll see we'll see what's up Uh, well, uh, let's see, cost of phones, well, cut, well, phones, phones are interesting because, because I can remember when, I can remember when mobile phones would be like, you know, 4,000 pounds, you know, they were ridiculously expensive and yeah, li- 
No, it's just because they're well, the, the rich people had them, that's for sure. But um, there was more to because they were still fairly new at the time, um, and so they they were quite expensive to produce and and and, and sell. So yeah, they they would be like you know three thousand, four thousand pounds, and it, they were called car phones because they literally use a car battery, um, and they were, they're quite massive. But this is this is going back a while. So get, phone, mobile phones went from being really expensive to maybe like the late nineties, early two thousands, when they started to really, really come down in price and become much more accessible to just say the average person. So they went from really expensive to really cheap, and that seems like the average phone, especially smartphones, that tend to go up. Like they, uh, you know, go, phones are going. To, you know, buying a phone would be like you know three hundred pounds, four hundred pounds. I think iPhones, if you were to buy them, they're like maybe eight, nine hundred pounds sometimes. So um. It is, it is interesting how that has changed. That was when a sort of really expensive went down, it seems to be going up more and more expensive just for different reasons. And as far as Nintendo doing a, a mobile phone, I think, I mean, clearly they, I think they do have the know how to do it. And if they don't, they can employ it. It's, it's not a difficult thing for them to do, I don't think. It's just, I don't know, would you, would you want a, a, a mobile phone with Nintendo on it? You know, <laughs> is that, because they'd probably want to do some kind of crazy Wii stuff, like the the, the Wii phone, where I don't know, you have to like wave your hands to, to, to <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to wave your hands in front of the screen to to press the buttons on it. Like you can't just press the buttons on a pad; you got to wave up and down or some stupid nonsense. It's like I don't know what what they'll do with a phone, but um, <laughs> I mean I don't know, maybe maybe it's, it's it would be a good move for them. I guess you you don't know until they actually do it, but it's uh, it's a bit like. But then again, when Sony decided they're going to move into the, mo into the video game market, so I think a lot of people, including myself, were like, Sony doing video games? That's a stupid idea. They, they make TVs, they make VCRs, you know. But then, well, they, they blew up, you know, they did really well. So, yeah, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's time Nintendo tried their hand in a different form of electronics. So, uh, could be, could be. Oh, well, it's possible, I mean, especially with Nintendo planning on moving into the mobile market. So it's certainly possible that they might consider, um, you know, putting some of the older games on the iPhone or you know Android or whatever. And certainly, I think it's, it's, it won't be much for a, a phone to run those games. They could, they can run much more powerful games than that. So uh, it wouldn't be a question of is it powerful enough? I mean, they could easily do it. Um, so uh, it's certainly possible. Would they do it though? I mean. I guess I guess with older games, it's not as big a risk to their business that, uh, as as newer games would be, because at this point, yeah, you've probably either already played Ocarina of Time or you don't particularly care for it. You know, you've probably already played the first Zelda game or you don't particularly care to care, care for it. So having that nostalgia uh, effect on the iPhone, um, it could actually work in their favour, uh, especially if they don't bitch out the price. Like sometimes they when they start doing the the eShop, and a lot of the games were, a lot of these old games from like, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, they were selling for like really expensive. So as long as they don't do anything stupid like that, then it could work in their favor having these older games on the iPhone. I mean, if you look what happened with, um, you know, GTA, when they used to, um, you know, Rockstar, when they put some of the older uh, GTA games on, on iPhone, um, and they were smart with the pricing, they were only like, I feel like two pounds or something like that, one, one pound something or two pounds, they're really cheap. So, um, yeah, it did well. I think as long as they, as long as they don't try to be like, oh, we're Nintendo, people pay for the nose to have our thirty-year-old games because, because no, it, it won't. <laughs> so, uh, as long as they're not stupid with the price, and it could work with them, it could work. Yeah. Well, um, if you buy a Nintendo phone, it's not. I mean, yes. If you're looking at, uh, okay, 
a Nintendo phone. It's, okay, you're gonna have Nintendo games there. Given that's that's pretty much a given. A Nintendo centric apps. That's that, that pretty much is a given. But what else can a Nintendo phone do? Because App Store is is huge. Android is huge. So is it gonna run on? It's not gonna run on iOS. I mean, that much you can, we can pretty much be sure on. So it's either gonna run on Android, um, Windows, or they're gonna ha- or maybe some other third party um, uh, OS, or they're gonna do something. You know, create their own OS. Um, the third part, uh, say anything other than Android and Windows, then you know you kind of. I mean, even Windows really. So let's be fair. Anything other than Android, then you, you got a risk of just not having that many apps available for it. Windows is okay. Windows phones are okay. They're kind of coming up a little bit more now, but it's still quite low as far as you know apps concerned. Any other third party, if they even exist, you know, they pretty much guarantee that they don't have anything on them. And then if Nintendo decides to do their own operating system, then yeah, it's like okay, well, what again about the whole third party thing about how can you get third party apps now? You know, Nintendo with third parties, as they've proven, they don't really have a particularly good relationship. So, yeah, you could buy a Nintendo phone, and it could it could potentially be the absolute best phone in the world. But then, what can you do with it outside of Nintendo stuff? Um, well, the well, the Vita is kind of I don't know what's happening with the Vita at this point. Actually, <laughs> I, I think I think Sony might have forgotten about the Vita, so uh, they might as well just be like, "Oh, well, Vita." What, what? Yeah, and the thing with Vita actually means life. It's a, it's Latin for life, and it just has absolutely no life at all right now. <laughs> it's just just it's gone. And I, I like my Vita. So I do. I, I I think it's a great machine. It's an absolutely fantastic uh, uh, portable uh, machine, but. Oh, they're they're so lacking on games right now. It's just it's, it's it's brutal, you know. It's like I could go I could go months and months and months without playing it sometime because you know, what am I going to play with it? But it's just I've, I've I mean I've got some old games I could I can pick, dig out, but I'm not going to keep going back to play older games. It's like I'm done with these, man. The only times I play it now is if I ever get the bus, you know, and if I get the bus anywhere because I cycle most places. I rarely get the bus anymore. And when I do get a bus, it's like I have to remember to charge it beforehand because the battery's died out so much that you can't just pick up and go. I've got to make sure the battery's charged the night before. So I have to plan to play on the bus. That's how bad it is, you know. It's just, it's, it's pretty bad with the Visa right now. It's just, uh, it's such a shame. It's a great machine, but yeah. Oh, well. If they ever released a Mario game on the iPhone. Um, it's not a rumor I've heard. Not not specifically. I mean, apart from you know, Nintendo planning going into the mobile and mobile market, uh, I haven't heard of any games they plan on doing. I'd imagine they'll do something with the Mario brand because you know why not? It's their biggest. Easily their biggest their, uh, their, their brand is their, their mascot. So I, I, I just, but um, all right, all right, yeah, the yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that the, the company that's actually doing this stuff for them, yeah, um, not particularly, no, no, no. Yeah. 